Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Ron and today is another vlog video. So I'm gonna be going to Home Goods to check out their pots. I feel like they have some pots and things for spring. I don't know, something's telling me they have a bunch of stuff already, but I'm also trying to look for a piece of art to go on this wall that goes above my Millsville wide. I want something that's like monochromatic. So it's like featured on this blue gray accent wall, but also something that's kind of textured. So we will see what Home Goods has in store. Some of the things that are on here already are like this candle holder, I guess, but it's meant for candles of like this size, which I don't have. I have the three wick big ass candles from Bath and Body Works. This one is a random candle that I use sometimes. I don't remember where I got this from, but this container, what is this called? Candle container is kind of cute. And then I've got my thing, my, just kidding. It's a picture of my graduation day from my Master of Architecture. And then this, this is a mermaid. This is done by my partner Josh's late grandpa. He did a lot of woodworking and this, I think it's so cool and detailed. So I feel like something that's monochromatic will help feature that work of art. I'm thinking home goods because I don't have money to splurge on like real artists but if i did i would get something from a local artist but for now we'll just be something i don't know we will see and then i guess i'll give you a quick plant update my last video featured this plant right here this is the monstera oblica peru with my homemade moss pole this dries out really fast so I have to like spray that at least once a day. Sometimes I do it twice a day. Someone on Instagram said to use one of those uh, plastic moss poles with, I don't know, like half of the moss pole is covered in plastic and the other half is like this mesh material to allow the roots to grow into the moss. But if I get my 3D printer up and running, I might actually 3D print my own, because that would be pretty cool. Save me a lot of money. And then my Thai constellation with this new leaf right here, the Monstera elbow. I'm, I think I have to repot that one. I don't think any of my plants like concrete planters, because I had one for my philodendron micans, and for some reason it like stopped growing, and I repotted it into like a white nursery pot, and then that one's like growing like crazy so i feel like uh, i have to do away with concrete planters so that's also another project my luxurians has got a flower about to pop out right there along with a new leaf i believe my anthurium clarinervium this one is a newly unfurled leaf it looks so pretty my painted lady is doing just fine. Ooh, it's gotten a little bit more firm in the soil there. That's good. And then this spider orchid. Oh! <gasps> well, thank you for your service. Yeah, I think this one, I might need to repot this into Lekka. I think it'll do very well in Lekka. Oh, also, my variegated Hindu rope has got some new growth right there, and it's so cool because it's coming in pink from being sun stressed or artificial light stressed so that's cool and then this one is just a variegated ivy from walmart trying my hand at this again i've killed all of my ivies in the past and then this one is a global green pothos this one came from a bigger pot which i have in the kitchen but i decided to propagate these because if you look closely there's like sport variegation in there right so I'm hoping it'll push out more leaves like that. There is already a growth point right there. 
And then the last plant in here is the Calathea macoyana. And I think it's doing just fine as well. So yeah, just a quick multiple white update. The monster elbow in that concrete planter, that's another reason why I want to look for another pot at Home Goods. Hopefully they have a white one because I'm trying to change all of my pots into white pots. For some reason, my mother elbow that I have in the plant room, the pot that it's in is glazed all around and it's doing really, really well. And I think I used a very airy soil mix in that pot. So it balances out. It doesn't get too wet. It dries out within like a week or so. But I really do need to repot that one as well. So we'll see if I'm able to find two pots for my Monstera elbows. Anyway, let's go shopping. Okay, we're back home and kind of hungry. So I've made myself a slice of banana bread, which my friend at work made, but I need to microwave it and put some butter on it because it tastes so much better that way. Hello, cholesterol. Yum. So I'm just gonna have a snack, I guess, with almond milk. I'm starting to drink oat milk and almond milk because it's not really that I'm lactose intolerant. It's because it doesn't expire as quickly as regular milk, right? So when you buy regular milk, it will expire within a month or so. Because I'm feeling kind of extra today, I'm going to add a dash of cinnamon, even though I think it might already have some inside. Ooh inside. I love cinnamon. Okay, let's see. Ooh. So I turned the lights on. And you can see all the texture in there. 
the shadows and the highlights. I think it looks so cool. It's like so 3D looking. So I think this is basically paper mache art. And the tag on here says, shadow box paper, handmade 3D arrangements of paper create visions of tranquility and depth. Exactly what I was trying to go for, thanks. I think it does the job at creating a nice backdrop. They also had different versions of like this effect, but some of them didn't have this enclosure, which I feel like without this, all the crevices in there can easily get dusty. And as you can see, it's $99. So yeah, um, let me go hang it up real quick. Oh, but also, this is the pot that I ended up going with. It's terracotta or clay, and it is glazed on the outside, but that shouldn't be a problem with moisture retention because I'm going to try to use a chunky mix in here anyway. The nice thing about this is that the bottom is also bare clay, so that will help wick away moisture so the plant doesn't stay wet for too long. Either that bushy elbow or the mother elbow that I have in the plant room upstairs will go in here. I feel like I'm gonna repot that one into this pot instead because that one is not really overgrowing the pole yet. The mother is super tall. I feel like when I repot that one, I'm going to have to propagate it at the same time. So yeah, this one will do. It's kind of big and heavy. But I will repot, I'll do a repotting video separately. All right, so, so far we've marked our two holes for where our drywall anchors are gonna be anchored in. So we're using these plastic anchors with these screws and that will hold up our picture. Picture, art. I'm editing the video here, but to my left is Pia. She's being so cute. She's so compact over here, nestled in the blanket and the pillows. Say hi. We're trying to give her a lot of lovings because she's gonna go for her second round of surgery and removing breast tumors which is sad but she is totally and completely healed from her first round which was about a year ago and her next one is scheduled about a month from now 
So she's gonna get all the loving she can get because I'm sure she's gonna be in a lot of pain afterwards. And I think she knows it too, cause she's like being really good. The more lovings you give this dog, the better she behaves. I don't know why. Ooh, hat hair. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, plant scribe. And as you can see, it's dinner time. So let me go ahead and eat my dinner. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.